What up, y'all? And welcome back to the channel, Dap Universal. I'm Dap. Damn. And welcome back to another pick a card reading. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Dap. I do pick a card tarot readings all day long. If you are returning, welcome back, 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 back. And um, yeah. Today we're looking at um, what is going to be revealed to you, what is being revealed to you because you need to know um, a message from your guides, your ancestors, your higher self um, on what basically we need to focus on, basically what you, what, what you need to put your attention to. Um, and I'm keeping it quite open. I don't know where we're going from here. I have a, I have a, a certain... Um, I have a certain idea of what cards I want to use and what spread, but I don't know what's going to come out. So um, you're just going to pick between three piles today. And we are going to be using the, um, the the Neon Universal deck. I haven't really named it yet, but it's a, it's a, it's a tarot deck that um, I'm working on. And so I've been using them as uh, cards for y'all to choose from. So I want to showcase um, the bros and the sisses. So the bros um, are basically the equivalent of the knights and the cis are the um, equivalent of the page. So you'll be choosing between three piles today, uh, between the cis of swords, the bro of wands and the cis of cash. So uh, you can pause it if you need to, you will see the cards flashing across the screen here in just a second. But um, if you could take just a, just a second, just a second, to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that is a great way to support i'll also go live every single day uh, for live tarot readings and you can even book me for a personal reading where we go all in but um yeah go ahead and pick out your pile so so that way you can um know what uh where, where we're going Timestamps will be below in the description and i'll see you at your reading bye for now What up, pile number one? If you chose the Sis of Swords, welcome to your reading. So um, off the bat, I'm picking up that you may be a Virgo, heavy Virgo energy, actually. Virgo, Aquarius, um, Taurus. You may have, um, say, um, some six house placements. You may actually be a, um, a North Node in, um, in Scorpio. So I did roll some dice for you and you actually pulled South Node in Taurus in the sixth house, which to me, it, it's 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 that energy of like um, you're you, you're being called to kind of feel your feelings right now and not be too practical. I feel like maybe um, my pile number ones are really into, say, the resources, the bag, making sure they have enough, um, their physical senses, what they can see, taste, touch, all that stuff. Um, um, I did want to start us off with a rune, and you pulled um, Inwas. I'm learning runes, so uh, we're gonna read this out the book. Um, and can I get a, a, a bigger picture of maybe what's going on, what your message is? We are looking into uh, what is uh, being revealed to you. What is being revealed to you? And it says Inwas. Inwas symbolizes fertility. And sexuality. Ooh. The appearance of Imwas can signal the start of a phase of life where it feels like lush and exciting things are suddenly just happening. There might be a challenging new job opportunity, a thrilling and passionate relationship, or a period of creativity and, pro and productivity where great ideas seem to crackle in the air around you. It's also about new beginnings and stepping into your full potential. Right now, you may be shedding an old skin and a new and improved version of you is emerging. This can feel exhilarating, but a bit scary at the same time. You may worry that you won't be able to handle a new opportunity or that you'll regret making a big move. But this is a time for bold and courageous action, even if the new beginning is in an unknown area. 
Inwaz is a sign to let go of old patterns, behaviors, people, or things to make room for new experiences. What you'll gain in the future will more than make up for what you're leaving behind. Don't let fear of success hold you back either. Inwaz deeply believes that it's time to let your light shine. Amen. So yeah, um, really embodying that energy of say, the physical, like that Taurus energy, your your resources, your um, what's important to you. Also, um, the bottom of the deck, uh, I already pulled the tarot cards, was um, the Six of Swords in reverse, which kind of speaks of um, wanting to transition from one place to another, but there's some kind of hesitant, some kind of resistance, some kind of resistance, maybe some fear of failure, Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, fear of disappointment. Um, some of y'all fear of missing out, but... I, I do this simple spread and it's one of my go-to's. It's called red light, yellow light, green light. So red light is, is the blocks, the things that hold you back. Yellow light is the neutral energy and green light is the positive, um, encouraging energy that you already have around you. You ain't got to look for it. It's already there. Um, and we're just going to start from there. So red light, you have the seven of swords in reverse. Seven of swords in reverse. And, and to me, it's about being strategic. Maybe it's about maybe being a little bit too strategic, a little bit too in your head, a little bit too weary or paranoid um, of like saying, what if something's out to get me? What if something's gonna like take this blessing away from me? Um, it's, it's, it's really not allowing yourself to move with intuition, but when you try to move with too much logic, you're bound to kind of get wrapped up in your own head. Some of y'all may be um, air signs, Aquarius heavy. Yeah. Maybe even a Mercury in, in Aquarius. But clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. I have the Wheel of Fortune. Luck is on your side. It's almost like saying if you can tap into the intuition um, when, say, your mind is bogged down, you can kind of feel, you know, that, that gut feeling that tells you when to move or where to move. Trust it because it's, it's, it's trying to get you somewhere. It's trying to tell you. Um, uh to, to trust yourself um yellow light we, you have the knight of pentacles in reverse this is the energy of maybe working um very very hard being very very practical um so to speak but it's like it's almost questioning itself clarify the, the knight of pentacles in reverse yeah the seven of pentacles being patient um it's almost like saying you know how you 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 know you want to do something and you tell yourself okay i seem to get a little bit more prepared i'm not ready yet i'm almost ready but just not yet <laughs> it's like once i get more information once i once i spruce up on this once i it's, it's like it makes too many excuses it's like you'll never be ready just do it like i could have started my youtube channel a year before i actually started my youtube channel and i wish i would have all under the guise of me not being ready. I wish I would have just hit record. <laughs> you know, it's like my videos were, were were no better or worse than they were if I would have just started. You know, so it's like sometimes you just have to just kind of rip off the band aid and just go for it, despite the the fear of failure. Because at the end of the day, sometimes you're gonna miss the boat. Sometimes you're gonna sometimes you're gonna miss the mark. Sometimes it's not gonna pan out the way you want it to, but guess what? So many times that we, we look at, um, say, mistakes or like failures as something to, to hang our head low about or to be ashamed of, when in reality, a failure or a mistake is just the same as, say, winning, is, is learning a lesson. Of course, when you win, you, 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 dude, that's, that's a good feeling, that's a good energy. You, you, you're on the right track, you know that. But when you say make a mistake or you lose, realistically, it's just a lesson where, where you know what not to do next time. You know, that's all it is. So we have to stop being so afraid of failure. And the positive, the green light, the, the, the beautiful supportive energy that's already around you, you ain't gotta look for it, is the 10 of pentacles. Prosperity, prosperity and, and long-term success. It's not just like um, a come up. It's like something that's that you can count on. It's like if you're trying to run your own business, if you're trying to go after that job that that you didn't think you qualify for, if you want to go back to school, it's something that that that's investing in yourself. The four of wands and it's something to celebrate at the end of it. It's like you're being um, called to just 
do that thing. Like say, even if it's a, say if it's a job that you don't think you'll, you'll um, get a call back for it, do it anyway. Um, even if it's starting that, that side hustle, do it anyway. Learning that skill, it's like you have options. Pile number one, you have options. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I do wanna pull you um, a life lessons card and then we're gonna read um, some moonology cards and close it out. All right, so what's being revealed for pile number one? Let's hurt. Let yourself feel. Let yourself feel as much as you think. Let yourself feel. Wow. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And number 55, adventure. Some of y'all may be life path number fives, life path number ones. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Life path number six. Bottom of the deck you have. Number 85, follow your dreams. Life path number eight, follow your dreams. Eight is the number of perseverance. Um, now I'm gonna pull you these moon cards just for a little bit more advice. Three more, just, just a little advice. Any, any more advice for pile number one, what's being revealed to them? You have third quarter moon, adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. New Moon and Aries, go for it. And last but not least, last quarter moon in Aquarius, reflect on your priorities. Yes. So I see Aquarius, Aries, um, Libra, Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio. And is that about it? I think that's about it. That's about it. Yeah. Um, sound off in the comments and let me know if this resonated um uh like like the video if it resonated as well if you don't feel like leaving a comment but until next time guys one more piece of advice for you just one little bit and it's probably the most important advice i can give you and that is if you got spirit what spirit got you blessings and all we do bye What up, pal number two? If you chose the bro of wands, welcome to your reading. So you could be a Sagittarius. You might be a Libra, heavy on the Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus. Getting that out the way. Um, I already pulled you one of these runes cards. I'm learning runes. Pulled you one of these, and we're going to read this up the guidebook to kind of see what is um, being revealed to you. By the way, I already rolled the dice um, in uh, the astrology dice. You pulled uh, Neptune in Libra in the seventh house. So to me, it made me get vibes of like romantic illusions or um, misconceptions or misunderstandings in love, like not seeing things for what they are, so to speak. But uh, you pulled a third. But, but, <laughs> three three's three's eyes and I think that's how you say it it means thorn three's eyes um, and I'm gonna read out the book for you <clears throat> it says symbolized by a thorn the spiky nature of three's eyes is a reminder of the importance of protection you may be facing a challenging situation where you need to armor up and have strong personal boundaries Take the necessary precautions to make sure that no one is taking advantage of you. Be mindful of areas where you're vulnerable or taking unnecessary risks. The presence of Thurizaz can also be an alert that a challenging change or a disruption to the status quo is on the horizon. Rather than be alarmed, try to prepare for the unexpected by consider your options calmly and carefully. Remember that change can be a healthy thing. This room may show up in a reading if you're feeling defensive or under attack about a situation. While it's important to have your thorns at the ready for protection, try to recognize when they become a block to connecting with your fellow humans. Okay. So 
for some of y'all this could be the energy of feeling like everyone's out to get you and that may be um a misstep but for others it's um not seeing that maybe somebody has ulterior motives you have to put yourself where, where you kind of fit in um the bottom of the deck you did pull the king of swords in reverse which is detached a little bit too detached so for me for the majority of y'all it's not that you need to worry that somebody's out to get you or that someone is trying to take advantage of you is more so that you are so guarded that you're not letting anybody in you may be isolated you may be um feeling like there's like you can't trust anybody i see the lovers in reverse on the bottom of the deck um feeling like the other and there may not be a reason to so the spread that i wanted to use um is my go-to spread it's called red light yellow light green light red light represents the block so the negative energy that holds you back yellow light is a neutral energy just what it is and green light is the positive um, encouraging energy that's already around you you don't have to look for it you have to find it it's already there just acknowledge it but um, this is gonna be what is being revealed to you so red light you did pull the hierophant you may be too stuck in your beliefs you may be too stuck on a certain um, mindset if y'all have gone through um, a, a spiritual awakening perhaps it's like saying you, you you spent so much time in the dark that um, you kind of made it your whole way of being and it's great but it's like it's been a while now for some of y'all and it's like time to get back out there and time to live your life and um and not be locked away in the tower like rapunzel so to speak clarify the hierophant because at, at a certain point we that's it's using spirituality as spiritual bypassing so to speak where it's like you go all the way head up in the clouds right but the thing is you never come down to experience life we come down into this in, into this incarnation into this lifetime in this earth realm to experience it as humans not just as spiritual beings so it's like sam it may feel good to be up there it may feel connected to your higher self but it's like you gotta come down back back to earth <laughs> why am i hearing that song from cinderella um rogers and hammer signs Ten minutes ago, I saw you. I never come back to Earth again. <laughs> oh God. Um, what's the neutral energy though? The neutral energy is the Six of Swords. Probably one picked that somewhere in their in their reading. But this is a transition. You're in a period where like you're meant to kind of physically not physically but um emotionally and mentally move on from wherever you you came from that hard time so i feel like maybe you've been really hurt maybe maybe that that situation where you feel like you can't trust anybody is because someone did burn you someone did take advantage of you someone did hurt you and you just over there looking your wounds the five of pentacles in reverse though it's like saying it's time to get back up and out there and face the world again um wiser than, than maybe you were um say a year ago but it's time to go back. The Page of Wands. Live life. It's time to go out there and, and have some passion. Because I feel like you, you daydream about um, what your life could be. Or like going out and like meeting new people. But it's like you can't bring yourself to do it. And realistically, it just the, the only thing to break out of that is just to get out there and do it. Just one step at a time. Oh, I'm here all these cartoons. Do y'all like cartoons or something? Like old cartoons? Or some, like, you remember that... Um, that Christmas movie, like with the little weird animatronic like toy things, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. You put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking out the door. <laughs> like, why am I thinking of that? <laughs> that was the most random shit. Um, what's the positive, dear God? What's, what's, what's the green light? We have the Seven of Wands. You will not let anybody take advantage of you. You are protected just because you are a spiritual being. You are of the light. Your ancestors are protecting you. Ain't nobody gonna go hurt you. Like, and if, if someone comes in your energy trying to come at you with that bullshit, guess what? You'll see it a mile away because you're not stupid. Discernment. Clarify the Seven of Wands. The Eight of Wands in reverse. They'll get stopped right in their tracks. Energy repelled. Like, you can, you, you know what that looks like. You know what that feels like. You know when someone isn't genuine. You know when someone um, just wants to soak in your energy. You just don't let them, you know? Ace of Wands in reverse, you just don't let them. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna pull you some, um, your message basically was being revealed to you is that you need to get up and get out and go do something. <laughs>
I'm going to pull you uh, some moon, I mean some life lessons cards and then we'll get into the moonology and close it out. What's being revealed for pile number two? What do they need to hear? You have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Damn. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. All right, and a uh, numerology card for me, please, spirit. Number 27, spiritual partnerships. Your soul tribe is out there. Your soul tribe is out there, go get them. All right. You may also be life path number nines. For real, for real. You may have like um, a lot of planets in the 12th house or your sun in the 12th house, moon in the 12th house, Jupiter in the 12th house. Pisces, I'm not Pisces, Pisces, um, Neptune in the 12th house. But let's see, uh, I'm gonna pull you a couple of these moon cards for advice and we'll close it out. If you haven't already, if this resonated, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. If this resonated, so leave me a comment just to say, hey, say, hey, Dap, hey, Dap. <laughs> All right, so you have last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. First quarter moon of Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. Balsamic moon, a time for healing. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Just got this one more little piece of advice before we go. And that is, remember, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. What up, pal number three? If you chose the Sis of Cash, welcome to your reading. Um, off the bat, um, you may be, um, say, a Cancer, you could be a Leo, you could be a Taurus, Aries, Gemini. Um, I did go ahead and roll the uh, dice for you, the astrology dice, and you pulled moon in Leo in the second house. This is about security equals safety, safety equals security in possessions. Um, maybe even uh, kind of worrying a lot about your money or your possessions or even uh, fixating on them a, a, a bit. I don't know, but I do know that the, um, the runes card that you pulled, and we're gonna read it out the book, is uh, Yera. Yera, and it's this valedictorian person like graduating Harvard or something, right? Love it. But um, I'm gonna read it to you. It says, Yera is the rune of celebrating a good harvest. Mm. It's the embodiment of the phrase, you reap what you sow. When Yera appears, it can mean you're about to enjoy the bounty of the seeds you planted long ago. All that nurturing, determination, and patience has finally paid off. This could be in the form of good news, a creative project finally coming to life, an important con contract signed or a big project successfully completed. It's time to celebrate a job well done and acknowledge how far you have come. If you're going through adversity, Yara can signal that you're moving into a period of hope and light. You may soon be able to put difficult times or unpleasant memories behind you. Seasonality is another theme of Yara. In nature, the growing seasons are followed by colder months of rest and hibernation. This can be a reminder to strive for the same balance. Yera is also the origin of the modern word year and speaks to the endlessly cyclical nature of life. While it's important to celebrate those good harvests when they happen, you can't afford to rest on your laurels for long. Time rolls on and so must you. Think about the lessons you have learned from the season and how you can build on them in the next one. That's how you keep growing and evolving. Nice. All right. Some, something coming to fruition. You're about to reap what you sow. Karma. Uh, that's what's being revealed to you, pile number three. Bottom of the deck, you pull the queen of wands in reverse. Passionate. Fiery energy. Um, you have literally been working your asses off creating something some of y'all are like very creative people you may have started your own business or you may have 
invested in something um, that that just requires that requires that requires a lot of your energy and time. Um, now I do this spread called red light, yellow light, green light, and basically what it is: red light is the negative energy of the blocks being revealed. Yellow light is going to be the neutral energy, and green light is the positive encouraging energy that's already around you you ain't got to look for it it's just there if you acknowledge it so red light you pull the six of pentacles in reverse so this is um maybe a fear of thinking like maybe what you what you put into it you may not get back out or like maybe you think um things have things have to pan out like you're re maybe really attached to a certain outcome Clarify about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like it's almost idyllic, like putting um, those feelings of, of, of accomplishment on a pedestal. Um, it means a lot to you. And there's nothing wrong with that. But 10 plus 6 is 16, which is a tower. The moment we get too attached to something, the moment we um, feel like it's it has to work out or it need, it just has to, is when, you know, the universe kind of shows us it kind of doesn't have to do anything, you know? Um, allow things to come allow energy to come in don't try to force it is the, is the main lesson and if you can let go a little bit to understand that then i think you'll end up getting what you want but clarify the ten of cups in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse the world yeah completion completion you you, you finished the task you did it lesson learned um what's the neutral energy the seven of cups seven of cups very much um, in, in, in a place where you feel like you may have a lot of options or you, you're trying to create a lot of options for yourself. Um, but the thing is, you may also be blinded by the fact that, uh, or not blinded, but it's like you may be one track minded, like not seeing all the other options around you. Um, especially with the Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like saying if, if you, if, if an obstacle is created, it's like don't get dejected, don't get down on yourself just try to find a way around it think of it as a as a way for you an opportunity for you to kind of um overcome it the ten of swords in reverse is a, is a terrible fear of, of of um failure as well clarify that you have the devil it's attachments so um i think what's being revealed to you is that we need to um detach and more so allow a good friend of mine told me um don't want for anything she says allow attain and gain allow attain and gain don't attach to anything by the way they kept the page of wands which is basically fearless and free and just doing it you know taking a risk taking a chance it takes guts to to, to be able to let go a little bit right but the positive, um, the green light, the positive energy that's already around you was being revealed for pile number three. You have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy, it's, it's about just going for it. Just going for it. Um, this, does this man look like he, he gives a fuck about any kind of obstacle in his way? They better get the hell out of his way. Like he'll go over it, around it, under it, it don't matter. Um, it's, it's, it's fearless. Clarifying that the three of wands in reverse, because you never know what's going to come in. You never know what um, is going to happen or, or, or how things are going to manifest. All you can do is just take it one step at a time, one thing at a time, and just as it comes. It's like when you get in your car and go to the grocery store to, to buy a jug of milk. You're not thinking, oh my God, am I going to be able to make it? Is the traffic going to be horrible? Is the, is, is the grocery store going to be out of milk? Oh my God, when I get there, is the milk going to be too high? Is the line gonna be too long? Are they gonna have the regular two percent milk? Am I gonna have to get some some whole milk instead? Or oh God forbid that oat milk? It's like you don't like, worry yourself into a a fit in a frenzy over the milk. You just get in your car and you go get the milk. If if they end up being out of milk, guess what? You you find, you work your way around it as you go. If the line's too long, you wait. You know it's like you 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 handle you tackle the obstacles as they come when you're just getting like say a jug of milk. Treat a million dollars the same way. Treat that job that you want the same way. The project that you're doing the same way. Like that jug of milk is yours. You, you're on your way to get it. And you're just going to handle everything as it comes. Right? Bottom of the deck, the six of swords in reverse. Transition. The whole, everyone pull that card. It's a transition. It's a transition. You're, you're on your way. You are on your way. I'm going to pull you um, some of these life lessons cards. And then we're going to close it out with the monology. And that's it.
that's what that, this is what needs to be revealed to you. Um, what what's some life lessons for pile number three? What needs to be revealed to pile number three? What's being revealed for pile number three? Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Mm -hmm. Nice, could be Pisces. Courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. Come on, Aries. Leo. And last but not least. Number six, love. Love. All right. I'm going to pull you these moon cards. If there's any um, additional advice for pile number three, I'm going to close it out. That's all I got for you. Um, I see full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Embrace the flow of life. Don't don't try to hold on too tight. Just embrace the flow of life. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. And last but not least, we have full moon in Taurus. Detoxify. Bada bing. Bada boom. And um, that's all I got. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if this resonated. How it resonated. Like uh, the video if it did as well. And I'll see you next time. Just take this with you before you go. Put it in a doggy bag. But um, remember, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and all we do. Bye.